So today in the live stream, when we're talking about different things, people ask me like, where do I buy my ton coin and other digital assets? Well, usually what I do is I use Coinbase, but if they're not there, then I use a function that's within the Tangem cold storage device wallet, which is called Swap. And you can swap for a whole plethora of different cryptos across a broad spectrum. And uh, it's uh, quite painless, quite easy. So I want to go over that. Now, if you want to learn more about Tangem and the cold storage device, there is a link in the description where I go over a video. It's about 20, 25 minutes long, where I go into detail about why I prefer it, why I actually use it, and why I'm praying to continue to use it moving forward because of the security and the functionality that it actually has. So link in the description, check out that longer video. So what I'm gonna show you today is just a very simple, down and dirty, easy version of how I swap within the wallet itself. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna jump into my phone and I'm gonna show you how this actually looks. So you may notice that up in the upper left-hand corner, there's Tangent. So we're gonna go in there. Now I'm going to hide all the uh, uh, amounts from uh, all you degenerates, no, I was kidding. But uh, you never should let anybody know how much you have, regardless of how many cold storage devices you have. Uh, personally, I have over, I have three. And uh, you never wanna show anybody what you have. So just to keep this simple, let's just go with this. So let's just say that I want to buy Tonecoin, right? And uh, yes, I've been talking a lot about that lately. No, they don't pay me. Yes, I believe it's gonna be big. And yes, I talk about my bags. Crazy, right? So what I want to do is I'm going to show you how this works. So let's just say, you know, I don't know. Let's well just use Solana. So I got Solana here. Oh, look at that. Solana Networks congestion, whatever. But when you go in there and you click on this thing called Swap, and Swap's going to bring up a bunch of different cryptos that you have. Now, I've already got it on a ton uh, because I was playing around this before. But if you click on that bottom part and you want to do a search, you can search for whatever you want. You can search for USDC. Well, that's not how I spell it. USDC. And there's all the different USDCs. What I want to want you to notice is that USDC coin is on different ecosystems. So, so you have USDC, the stable coin on Solana. You have USDC, the stable coin on Ethereum, on Avalanche, on BNB, on Polygon, and so on and so forth. So I want you to make sure that what you're buying is what ecosystem or what layer one or layer two solution that you actually want. So let's go back. I'm going to type in ton. And you can see that for me on my wallet, I've got two. I got Ton, which is on the Ton ecosystem, the layer one solution. And you also have Ton coin, which is on BNB. I don't want BNB. I want the original one on Ton. So I'm gonna click on that. Let's just swap. Ooh, let's go, let's live dangerously. One whole Solana for one Ton, which is 22. Now what you're gonna notice is that it's actually provided by Changely, which is a, an exchange. And you can get the uh, exchange rate. Uh, Solana one ton is 22.41. Now these are going to, to vary, but you can see here, the amount includes the provider fees, the network fee per sending ton, and back to the user's address. So, so that's everything. So right now you've got, it's uh, one Solana for $145. You're going to get 143.73. So essentially you're paying a dollar and some change. So just so you know, that's what the exchange rate, again, that's for everything. And then there's a network fee of really not that much. So I'm gonna click on swap and it's gonna say, all right, we can do that, but you're gonna have to scan your card. Very simple. This is why I like Tangem, because it's right here, cold storage device. I don't have to plug in anything. I just hold it over this way, over my phone, done. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So that's how you do it uh, for a swap function. Now, if you have any questions, put those in the comment section. Uh, but that is it for today. So hope you like that uh, super simple video. And that's it for this one. Like and subscribe. See you on the next one.